But right now, I want you to take a look at this really unique process that occurred tonight. The Iowa caucus process is nothing like we know at home in Florida and how all these numbers came to be. Do we have an A or B last name? We're seeing a lot of people who uh, have coming out. Thank you. Just excited about getting involved, so it's, uh, it's good news. <laughs> Some were registering right there for the first time. I needed to change my affiliation. Jill Women was right there switching parties. Four years ago, we caucused Republican because we had an incumbent and we wanted just to see what it was like. The GOP voters on one side uh, supporting Trump because? Because he's awesome. I want to say it's Rubio. <laughs> Democrats on the other. Bernie Sanders is our guy this year. Hillary Clinton. And so many of the people you see here came to cast their first votes in the nation, having no idea who they would choose. This meetings call the order for the caucus of 2016, Des Moines Precinct 47. And so the debate and the discussions and convincing between neighbors began. She needs the Bernie supporters because she never even had an idea that they cared about. This is one of the bigger caucus locations. This is going on all over the state in places like churches, schools, even people's homes. The Republican process here is paper and pencil. Secret, sort of. You literally, I think. And a ballot box that may as well be a container for leftovers. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 for Marco Rubio. 12 for Marco Rubio. She knows the drill. She understands the issues. She the Democrats physically stand with their candidates' crowd and become surrogates, urging neighbors to their sides. So this process on the Democratic side, Martin O'Malley, who has the former Maryland government, uh, governor, who has now left the race, the first casualty of the Iowa caucus, his supporters can go either way. They can join the Bernie Sanders supporters or the Hillary Clinton supporters, and it's going to be really interesting to see if the Martin O'Malley supporters now will sway the race on the Democratic side. As I said, we might not even know that result today. It is 50-50. The other casualty tonight, Iowa caucus has whittled down the GOP field. Uh, Governor uh, Mike Huckabee of Arkansas has ended his bid for the presidency, but Ted Cruz is the big winner tonight, and he is on a plane. We should hear from him in about now 25 minutes. So Lori Calvin, it has been an incredible night here in Iowa. The first weighing in in the presidential election. Setting the tone for the rest of this race. Okay, our Glenna Milberg on the front lines there.